Hey, little mathematicians, time to learn about real world problems and ratios. We're going to be looking at two problems um, that both start from the same setup. Julia prepares a fruit punch using apple juice and orange juice in the ratio of 4 to 3. Doesn't sound all that delicious, does it? Uh, but nonetheless, uh, first part A. If the total volume of the fruit punch is 630 milliliters, find the volume of apple juice that Julia uses. I've drawn us a little diagram here to help us uh, see what exactly is going on. We know that Julia prepares a fruit punch using apple juice and orange juice in the ratio of 4 to 3. So that means that for every 4 parts of apple juice that we add, that Julia adds, she adds 3 parts of orange juice. Now, if the total volume is 630 milliliters, uh, how much apple juice does she use? <clears throat> so here is all the juice that's being added. Here is the total punch. Four parts of apple juice to three parts of orange juice. Now we're told that she uses 630 milliliters total, and clearly there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. So the strategy we want to use is finding out what just one of these units is. How many milliliters are in one of these seven units? So to find that out, we will do 630 divided by 7. And that equals 90. So what I know is that each one of these is 90. If you added all those 90 milliliters, that is. should keep my units there. So if you added up all these parts of 90 milliliters each, we would have the total of 630 milliliters. Now, when you see, when you're looking here, it sort of becomes obvious how much apple juice she used. She used 90 times 4 milliliters of apple juice which is 360 milliliters. Now, for one of the students that have me, and I think this is true for Mrs. Kondrix and Mrs. Woodruff's students as well, you know that we love drawings. We love these visual models. I think they're very helpful. But sometimes, uh, once we get really good and we totally understand them, we can step away from them and just do the pure mathematics. So what I'm seeing here is that we have seven parts total. So I can divide my 630 by 7 to find out what each part equals, and that's 90. Um, and then we have four parts apple, four parts of apple juice. I'm just going to represent that as AJ parts. And uh, so we would do to find out how much apple juice, we have four parts of 90 milliliters each which again is 360 milliliters. So that's just to show you the pure mathematics without the model. And on to part two, or part B, uh, same setup. And if Julia uses 560 milliliters of apple juice to make the punch, then how much orange juice does she use? I'm going to begin with our same model. We have the seven parts, four parts of apple juice to three parts of orange juice. What it's telling us here is that the apple juice alone she's used 560 milliliters for. So we have four parts of apple juice, 560 milliliters total. How much is one part? Think about that for a moment. How can we find just one part of the apple juice? Very good. We are going to divide 560 by four. If this is all 560, then one of them will be one-fourth of 560, or 560 divided by 4. So, of course, 560 divided by 4 is 140 milliliters per unit. 140 milliliters. Each one of these bad boys is 140 milliliters. Cool. So, how much orange juice does she use? Again, the problem becomes somewhat obvious once we have this model. She uses 140 times 3 milliliters of orange juice. And that is 420 milliliters. So again, just to show the pure mathematics, we're starting with our 560 
dividing it by the four parts of orange juice, uh, sorry, apple juice that we have in this recipe to get 140 milliliters. We know that each part now, each unit, is 140 milliliters, and we have three of them, three units of orange juice. So 420 milliliters is our answer. The takeaway from this is that the key to solving these kinds of problems is finding the value of a single unit. Finding the value of one single unit in our ratio. Then once we have that, it's very powerful. We can use it to solve all kinds of different problems that could be asked about the situation. Thanks a lot, you little mathematicians. Looking forward to see you around campus.